unique items to your collection. Watch this video to know how to make them. We'll start by showing how to transform two empty bottles into a low-cost clear pencil case. Remove the label. Use a craft knife. Mark out a cutting line. Cut out with the craft knife. Don't throw away the top. We'll need it later. Trim with scissors. Take another bottle and cut out in the same way. Take a zipper of the fitting size. Apply hot glue to one side. Attach it to the cut edge. Fasten the end. Unzip in half. Apply the hot glue to the zipped part. Attach the cut edge of the second bottle. Fasten the unzipped part. Check how it works. Unzip and zip up. Hot glue the ends. Put in pencils and markers. Cool! We can see what's inside. Besides, the pencil case is big and long enough to keep non-standard school supplies. Do you like to put pencils in your pockets? Make a mini pencil case from your old jeans. We'll need your old jeans back pockets, a belt loop, and a zipper. Hot glue the zipper to the top of the pockets. You can also sew it down instead. Hot glue the belt loop to shape a ring. We'll attach it to the pocket edge to hang it on your backpack. Hot glue the pocket edges. Squeeze little portions of glue. Hang the smart pencil case onto your backpack and keep your small stuff in it. You can put in a few pencils and other small school supplies or use it as a makeup bag. We've got a lot of stuff to take to school. Let's make a cute pencil case looking like a lip-shaped makeup organizer. We'll need glossy bold red fabric. Draw a 10 inch line on the wrong side. Mark the center. Mark up and down marks on the same level. Draw thick lips. Start with the center of the double curve to the right and left of the upper lip. Outline the lower lip. Make it thicker. Add a half inch allowance with the dash line. Cut it out. Make another of the same detail. Just trace the cutout. We'll install a zipper on one side. We've taken an 8 inch white and gold zipper. Mark the zipper ends. Cut down, making T shaped cuts at the ends. Apply hot glue across the edge in small pieces. Fold the edge to adhere. We've got a neat square slit. Let's install the zipper. Hot glue the small portions starting from the end. Perfect! The zipper is duly installed. The material is smooth. The zipper opens and closes well. Let's join the front and back inside out. Take a needle and red thread and sew them down. Stitch across the lip line. When ready, turn it inside out. Smooth the lips, especially across the stitch. We've got a gorgeous scarlet glossy lip cosmetic bag. Oh, no, it's a pencil case. Yeah, you'll definitely be the center of attention in your class with this awesome lip-shaped pencil case. A giant lipstick? This stunning pencil case is made to impress your friends. Cut a foil or plastic wrap cardboard roll. Mark it on the black paper. Cut out with allowance. Make cuts around. We need two identical details. Fold up the cut part. Attach to the roll. Mark its size on the black paper. Cut out the detail. Cover the roll. Paint the edge with black nail polish. 
Roll up the paper. Put it in the cardboard roll and attach. Secure with a paper clip. Attach another black detail to the other roll. Cover it with the pink paper. Shade the edge with a marker. Cut out a pink circle. Attach it to the black bottom. Assemble the pencil case. Add a makeup brand logo. Is my friend going to write something down in her powder notebook? I also have something to impress her. I'll let her take a pen from my giant lipstick pencil case. She did like it. In this tutorial, we'll make a kawaii pencil case shaped as an ice cream bar. Start by making a cardboard base. Trace a glass of an appropriate diameter. We'll need a semicircle. Draw two parallel lines to define the case size. Before you continue, check if it fits your stationery. The pencil case we're going to craft is 8 inches by 4 inches. Cut off the excess cardboard on one side. Use a ruler to fold up the other side to get a double-sided detail. Cut it out. Round the top. The cardstock base is ready. Place it on a piece of thick felt. Cut off the excess. Add hot glue across the edge. Attach the fabric to the base. Snip off the corner. Continue gluing. To make it neat on the round top, fold up the felt to cut off the excess. Hot glue the edge. Repeat the step. Pull up, snip off, and hot glue the fabric little by little. We've prepared a 14 inch long zipper. Hot glue the zipper to the case. When you finish gluing one side, unzip and attach the other one. Leave some space for an ice cream stick. Cut it out from a small cardboard square. It fits well. Cover both sides with the felt. Hot glue the stick to the case. Continue attaching the zipper. Cover the inside with pale pink felt. Cut out the detail fitting the open case. Attach it to the base. Check how it works. OK, continue decorating the case. Let's make a chocolate shell topping. Take brown felt. Define the size. Cut it out. This is it. To look more realistic, make the bottom wavy. Cut it out. See how it fits the ice cream. Perfect! Attach the topping. Add some sprinkles. Cut them out from the multicolor felt stripes. Hot glue the sprinkles randomly. Now, let's animate the ice cream. Cut out black felt eyes. Make white pupils and reflected light. Add rosy cheeks and a smile. The face is ready! Attach it to the pencil case. Put in pens and pencils. Perfect! The kawaii pencil case is very convenient as it will keep safe your stationery and protect it from scattering over your backpack. Are you tired of searching for your writing utensils through the house? Let's make an eye-catching sandwich-shaped pencil case. Make a cardboard base first. Draw two lines in the middle. Fold it up. We'll be making a small pencil case. Choose the right size you need. Round the corners. Take dense beige felt. Place the base on the fabric. 
hot glue the edges wrapping around the base. The bread is ready. Make a filling now. Place the base on light green felt to craft a lettuce leaf. Cut off the excess. Place the fabric across the base edge. Fold it in half and hot glue. Fold the corners in this way. Make small pleats to imitate the lettuce. Secure with the hot glue. Trim the folds. Take a round top to make tomato slice templates of different sizes. Wrap the details in red felt. Fasten with the hot glue. We've got bright tomato slices. Place the slices in a way that would make the burger look appetizing. Take milky white felt to craft onion rings. Fold it up and make a semicircle. Cut it out across the edge to shape the rings. Pretty nice! Just one more trim to correct the shape. Hot glue the rings, folding them in half across the entire length. Thus, we'll create a 3D effect. Cut it out in half. Hot glue to the tomato slices. Put a cheese slice inside. Take yellow felt to imitate the cheese. Fold the edge down and attach the fabric to the base. The bright middle of the sandwich is ready. Make the bread grilled. Draw pastel strips on both cover sides. Sprinkle the sandwich with sesame seeds made of white felt. It's time to install a zipper to the pencil case. Carefully attach it across the edge. We've chosen the white zipper by design to imitate a layer of mayonnaise. The mouth-watering sandwich pencil case will keep your favorite pens and pencils safe and secure. Write about your best pencil case in your comments. Subscribe to our channel to craft eye-catching 3D notebooks, lovely pen decorations, and lots of other awesome desk accessories.